Hello, today I'm going to show you how to create a prefab based on a Yuma character. For this purpose, I've already added the Yuma package and the Yuma Power Tools, uh, an extension you can get off the asset store. In here, you'll find the scenes folder that has the updated C01 crowd. It's similar to the C01 crowd that you'll find with Yuma, except that it uses the generator. Yuma generator threaded from the power tools, which also bakes away additional bones. And that's very useful when you create prefabs. So, first, let's uh, press play and see the 16 characters as normal. Um, let's see if there's any good raw material in here. Uh, I usually find one or two characters I like in each batch, but I don't know, I'm not really convinced about any of these. Uh, let's just try again. Alright, um, that guy over there, I, I kind of like him. So if we take that guy and we say save character prefab, the menu is Yuma, Power Tools, save character prefab. That's all you need to do. Select him and say all right, so um, the I think he looked like a uh, Benny. All right, Benny prefab, save him. Yep, and we're done. So down here, I got Benny. He's a prefab. He even looks like my guy. Uh, he got textures. He got meshes, mesh, hierarchies, avatar. And material, everything a prefab needs. So we go out of play mode, we go into a new scene, completely blank scene, and we drag, drag Benny in here. There you go. I'll just disable gravity and press play. And he's standing there, happy as ever. There you go. One one prefab directly from human character. Um, there are other ways you can create uh, characters, uh, create prefabs for characters. One is to, um, let's go back to the scene one, let's see, let's play, and find a character, actually, find a character, I think that guy actually looked pre pretty alright to me. Um, Go in here, we use the save avatar assets. So this is just saving the recipe. And he should be in here. No. Oh, I forgot again. When you're using this one, you actually have to select the root object. I always forget that one. Um, save selected avatar asset. There you go. We'll just put him in root. In the root, and we will call him. I don't know. Actually, I don't know what he should be called. Perhaps Soren. Okay, so now we got the recipe here, similar to any other human recipe. But if I go uh, in here and I create a game object, and I add a component with the dynamic avatar. I give it the recipe, I give it the generator, uh, I give it the locomotion controller. You can't see it, but I selected it out there. And <clears throat> suddenly you have the show and you have to create prefab options. So as soon as you have the, have the recipe, uh, even a dynamic avatar becomes a source for creating the prefab. This um, button here is of course created by the power tools. You press it and bam, there you go. Since the game object was called game um, was called game object and not Soren, which it should of course have been called, it the prefab was stored as Soren. No as game object, sorry. Let's try again. Here we go. And in here we have the prefab, we have the textures, 
we have everything we need. Of course, we also have that in here, but um, I don't really want a prefab called game object, so I'll just delete that one. There you go. Um, yes, another thing you might have noticed is the show button. That allows you to see the character directly inside Unity, allowing you to place him wherever you want to get your scene just right. That's all I wanted to show you in this video. Have a nice day.